fastest motorway flyovers which cuts through Kisumu near Lake Victoria. All gyms and all other sports training facilities were closed in March as part of measures to contain the spread of the coronavirus. This left Evelyn Akinyi and others with little choice but to find somewhere to train. The 27-year-old welterweight started boxing five years ago. It took sheer grit and determination to win a place in the national boxing team. Evelyn is convinced that staying physically fit will help her and others fight off the virus. Waziri tu kutrain, wasi ogopia ti corona, corona, juu, ukitrain vizuri, ugonjwa? Vincent Ocheng trains here with his daughter Stacy. He expected to be competing for Kenya at the Taekwondo World Cup in China later this year. Instead, he is working out on the gritty, polluted flyover. This year, we were planning, and that's why I'm training here. That's why I'm here today. We are planning to uh, to represent our country uh, in October. In October, that's uh, in uh, China. World Cup, Taekwondo World Cup, but unfortunately, uh, this COVID-19, we don't know it Aisha Lini. We are just praying and hoping it Aisha before that time. Not everyone in Kisumu is happy with their presence outdoors though, especially as many of the participants are not wearing masks. The government has also asked people to avoid gathering in groups. That is not the case with this group. They will give us this, this, uh, this disease, they will still spread it more. If in the, an individual, if one of them maybe has been affected, coming to train here with, I don't know, the five, four, five five or ten, it is nonsense. I don't see the, 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 the meaning of that uh, training in this area. If I know I've been told that I stay at home, let me stay at home. But Vincent says it is impossible to train at his home. He has lost his work in schools as a taekwondo teacher. He knows that without maintaining a training program, he has little chance of winning more medals. This is what I do best. It's my life. I survive through taekwondo. I'm a teacher. I teach taekwondo in schools and in halls. And when the schools were closed, the halls were closed, everything change. Uh, our life become hard. We can survive. There is no way you can survive. There is no way, no way you can train your uh, uh, kids. There is no way you can train your Kalayan. So I will ask government to come up and support sportsmen and women because this is what we do. These early morning training sessions continue to attract hundreds of residents of Kisumu, including basketball players, footballers and even dancers. They say they have no choice but to come here. There is nowhere else to train. Lidega Shomo, TV 47.